What's going on guys, Mitch here. Today we're checking out the Chris King headset drop set three in jet black. Now essentially what that means is that uh, the three represents various configurations of this guy. So it is a, an integrated headset and that three just uh, means kind of what size um, integrated headset cups you have and the bearing size that go with it. So let's take this guy out, check it out, see what jet black looks like and go from there. So let's get this guy out of this little packaging. One thing I will say about Chris King, they're very uh, environmentally friendly, so their packaging is actually uh, very, very marginal. They uh, don't put a ton into it. So there we go. And if you've ever looked up like a factory tour on kind of how they do their um, their recycling and whatnot, they're very efficient and uh, give, you know, they're all about going green and whatnot. So right off the hop, pretty cool little sticker that's gonna go on the tool chest. And then uh, just some information, which I don't know how relevant that'll be, but comes with it. But what we're here for, the headset itself, comes in a nice little spaced out cardboard carrier. And then we can kind of get in and see what this looks like. So I'll zoom in a little further to show you the color. So here we go, no thread set, King sealed bearings, uh, the grip lock technology looks really, really sharp. Um, I've had Chris King headsets, hubs, uh, bottom brackets, you name it. Um, I've ridden it and I've had really, really good luck with their components. So it makes sense that I'm going to be throwing this guy in the Santa Cruz Tallboy. So this guy is a DS41, DS52, meaning that it is, uh, the bearings in this sit right into the integrated cups in the frame itself, uh, as you can see, and it will say that on the bearings likely, but that's just the bearing size, which I think is awesome. Uh, definitely great fit for the tall boy. One thing they don't advertise though is it comes with a Chris King star nut, which is just a work of frickin' art. But let's take this guy out of the paper and take a look. I like how it gives you like a preload to torque setting there, which is good to have. And then this guy is just, I'm not gonna bother taking it fully out right now to make a big mess, but I will zoom in on uh, some of the bearings here and some of the etching. So here's the lower bearing you can see here. So Chris King, we've got a 52 mil, and then I believe it says 36 by 45, which is likely the angle of the uh, seat on the bearing here, and uh, the degree of the sealed bearings themselves, which is pretty standard, 36, 45, in a lot of the headsets themselves. Now let's flip and take a look at the top. So on the top bearing in here, it's actually tucked away a little bit. You can't really see, but you can just see 41 mil, 45, 45. So also, once again, very standard. Um, these are fully re rebuildable um, you know, like anything, you just pop a snap ring and you can degrease it and lube everything on the inside. It's absolutely fantastic. And one thing here, right on the top, you can see there's like a little nylon spacer. That guy's designed to take any of the creaking kind of uh, misalignment out of kind of compressing the whole unit together, which can save you a, a huge amount of headache. But that's kind of it, uh, taking a look at the Chris King uh, inset three that's designed for a uh, integrated uh, seat in, in inside some of the Santa Cruz bikes, actually most of the Santa Cruz bikes, I should say, uh, in the jet black. So really looking forward to this guy, getting it in, and uh, hopefully getting rid of some sounds that the tall boy is making here. So really excited, any questions, leave them below, and uh, catch you guys later.